Hello and welcome again. You are listening to my podcast Just One Question and this is Neelakshi Sengupta. This time with our dancer choreographer friend Kala Singh. She is a master's degree holder in business education from the US and she found her calling in the performing arts for over 40 years in Mumbai. She started as a dancer choreographer and experimented with acting and direction as well. Today I'm going to ask her the story of how she got into acting in the first place. Hey Carla, last time you told us the story of how you started as a choreographer in Mumbai. We are curious to know when and how did your acting career start in theater? I had wanted to get into acting actually. But uh, again in those days when a uh, production was being thought of, usually it was already the director decided, "Okay, I'm doing this play and actor A, B, and C and D would be perfect for this." so they called them in for a reading but it was pretty much a given that if you were called for a reading you got the role mm. it was that way so you didn't hear about it until it was already cast mm-hmm. so i was like now how do you break into that cuz i am a nobody in terms of acting so um so i wanted to do it but anyway um it didn't happen for a while and then um prithvi has their annual uh, festival the prithvi festival and they have all those platform performances and things like that that go on before the actual plays that uh, that happen and uh, again a friend dibya bakia had was directing a platform performance and he said listen i need a it's a reading well, let's see maybe we'll do it as a we'll stage it but let's see but i need somebody to do this would you be interested so i said okay yeah great so uh, I did a platform performance so that was like the first in but it was a fringe and but I still wanted to get in I get it but but what a great start Carla even if it was a stage reading to begin with performances soon followed right at the time pearl was still alive and uh, she was doing um noises off and again fully cast and all that and um one of the actresses had was given an opportunity got in, admission to a film school in New York. Okay. They had just started the rehearsal process and she got this admission. She said, "I really this is what I want to do and I have to go abroad, but now how do I tell Pearl and how do I get out of this?" So she told Pearl that this is what was happening in her life and Pearl told her, "Listen now, I'm already in production. Now you find your replacement." So she called up all of the actresses of the day, find out who was interested and if they were free and uh-huh. for whatever reason it wasn't working out. So then she went to the next tier and I had done uh, a few ad conferences and stuff because she also did a little dancing on the side. And um so she said, "Okay, mm, all right. Carla, listen, this is what's happened and I know you probably won't be interested, but yes, whatever it is. Yes." <laughs> <laughs> so says, but of course I have to run it through Pearl. So Pearl was like, but she's a dancer. What do you how do you run I think she's about to act. Or can she act? I don't know. Send her to me and let's see. So I went and uh, butterflies and all the nervousness meeting again Pearl icon, you know, big wig starting uh, with the top people, you know, <laughs> not working your way through. So anyway, I read for the role and auditioned and I got the role and which was wonderful for me i was thrilled about it and we did the performance so that then then i was okay she can act mm. Mm, so that got me into acting <laughs> i can almost visualize this in my mind pearl padamsi and karla singh standing in front of each other what a beginning and what was the first project you both worked on no the first one that uh, we did with the, it's been produced since then by other uh, production houses but this was the first one that uh, was done in india and uh so that was great fun that was an actor's actor we had to play two roles we were the on stage character and we were the off stage character mm-hmm. and of course the off stage character was diametrically opposite in terms of per- personality and temperament and all that from the on stage character so you had to play two people that's very interesting playing two people at the same time quite a tough one for the first time isn't it tell me about the character what was it like I played Brook who was the ditzy the blonde and uh, who wore contact lenses which were constantly falling out. So uh, every time somebody would hit me on the back or tap me on the back I'd have that I can't see a thing and had to go find the, the lenses and that was almost 40 years ago. 40 years, yeah. But that's a lot of story to tell. 
we are hungry to know more carla will you please tell us about all your experience okay uh let's see so started as a dancer choreographer uh got into ad films and the like and live shows for conferences and launches then got into acting mm. um started with those camu and beckett type plays and uh then moved into music into theater comedies and of course the musical theater was still continuing that was always going awesome and we are looking forward to hearing more stories in the days ahead about the actor the director the design elements the acting techniques about stage blocking so much to learn from you but for now i shall take you leave thank you carla once again you were listening to my podcast just one question and i'm nilakshi sengupta promising you many more interesting stories ahead bye for now mm-hmm.